Hey guys, Carl here with Red Beard Recipes. Today we're going to be making some burgers, um, handmade, homemade burgers. A little bit of spice in there, some onion jam, uh, mustard mayo. Let's get to it. Let's get you started. If you are enjoying what we're doing here um, and the recipes, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, put some comments down there and let me know what you want to see. In this prep today, so I've been crying for you guys. You're welcome. Well, anyway, let me say. Welcome. It's today guys for the onion jam. We've got two diced red onions of time a teaspoon of jam setter or Roughly five grams a cup of red wine a cup of sugar and One teaspoon of Worcester sauce and we'll put a little bit of salt and pepper in there as well for our burger mix We're gonna be using a kilo of beef mince um, one brown onion about three cloves of garlic crushed one tablespoon of cumin one tablespoon of basil. We'll throw some sriracha in there, but we'll just do that by eye when we're mixing it up. We've got one egg. What's your new eggs for? One cup of breadcrumbs, just to bind it together. And to serve it up, we'll be serving it on a brioche bun with some lettuce, tomato, pickles, mustard mayo, Swiss cheese, and we'll have that with some sweet potato wedges. First thing we're gonna do here, guys, is we're gonna sweat down some onions for both the burgers and for the onion jam. So we'll add a little bit of oil to the saucepan, a little one to a frying pan as well. So we'll add the brown onion to the frying pan. On a low heat, we just want to soften it up. And we're going to add the cumin to this as well, just to flavor it. So it's all already mixed in. Pinch of salt, a little bit of pepper. For the jam, we're just going to do a similar sort of thing. We're going to add the red onion, a little bit of seasoning, and just let that soften up, and we'll soften that on the other side. So the red onions are starting to go clear, so we're going to add in the Worcester sauce, thyme, red wine, and sugar. And we're going to let that all melt down together and just simmer away for about another five minutes to get it up to temperature. Oh yeah, star anise. Chip that shit in. So we're just on a low, low heat. With the brown onion we've just took that off as well. Um, it's just nice and soft. It's starting to caramelize a little bit but it's soaked in all of the cumin. So we're just going to take that off the heat, let it chill. Chill, Winston. And we'll throw it in with the, with the rest of the burger mix. So the red onion jam has just been ticking away for about five minutes. It's just got up to heat. It's still on a relatively low heat, but we're going to add in our jam setter. So this is going to make it a lot quicker process than making jam normally. This will literally get it to your consistency within I don't know, I'll say half an hour. We'll just have that on a very low simmer. Um, it'll start binding together. Then we'll take it off, chill it in the fridge for a little bit. Just give this a stir occasionally, so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Our onion jam is looking good. So it's all nice and dark. We're just gonna pop that in to a pot, a jar, container, whatever you want. Let it cool. Obviously when it stopped steaming, you can pop a lid on, chuck it in the fridge. It'll last quite a while because of the sugar content. Good to go. So while we're waiting for the jam to cool down. What? Oh, I'm trying not to break. Oh, no. So while we're waiting for the jam to cool, we're going to make the burger uh, mix. So I'll mix everything into the mince. Um, first off, we're going to season it pretty heavily. So we need a good couple of te uh, teaspoons of salt in there and a fair bit of black pepper. And I lied to you before because that wasn't enough garlic. So we're going to put about five cloves or six cloves in, all right? Back down to the meat. Garlic in. Get it all in. Don't be missing any. Onion and the cumin, all in there. 
And don't worry about getting your hands dirty because they're going to get dirtier. Basil and sriracha. So with this, if you like me and you love a bit of spice, bang loads in. I like to just do a drizzle each way and we're good to go. And we're going to start mixing that together. Gushy. Going in dry and it's coming out soggy. Once that's mixed in all nice, we'll add the egg. So we've lightly whisked it. Sloppy. Oh. Sounds delish. Get a bucket and a mop. It's so wet and gushy. Ew. And to bind it finally, breadcrumbs. So I'd go with about three quarters of the cup to start depending on the breadcrumbs which kind of use I'm using panko you might need a little bit less or a little bit more so it's easier to start with a little less and you can add it as you go so I think that it will take the extra make sure it's all mixed really well so you're not getting any clumps of anything anyway, especially a clump of breadcrumbs, because that'll taste like shit. Right, I reckon that's perfect, and we'll just mold them up. So we'll get them molded, we're going to weigh them out as well, so they're about a quarter pounder each, and then we'll refrigerate. So for this part, we're going to put a bit of cling film down over some scales. Um, if you're using grams, you need around 225. So we're going to go in for about 225 to 230 grams. Two twenty-six. That's a quarter pounder exactly. Excellent. I'm just going to roll it into a little ball over here. Now, I don't really care about them being precise at all. If you've got a metal ring, by all means use that to get the right shape. I'm just going to roll it into a ball. And press it down. So that's going to be one fat burger. And it's thick with two C's. And pop that in there. And we'll wrap each one. Because we're using a kilo of mince, we're going to have a few burgers. So you can wrap that up, pop it down. If you're not going to use it straight away, you can always freeze it and it'll last for a good few months in the freezer. Um, we'll pull them out on a day when you're having a barbecue. We have the burgers all wrapped, so it's made five perfect quarter pounders. And then like one little gimpy thing over here as well. That would be a kid's one. For your wedges, just wedge them up however you want. I've got mine quite thick. Um, we're just gonna throw a little bit of oil across them. A little bit of salt. And we're gonna season them again afterwards with some rosemary salt. Basically, we just put some dried rosemary and salt in a pestle and mortar, ground it all up, got the flavors infused, infused together, um, and we'll toss them in that afterwards. Make sure your oven's set to around 200 for these. Um, throw them in and have them in for around 25 minutes. Shut up, women. Jam's all done and smells absolutely excellent. They're excellent. To cook our burgers, we're going to have a drizzle of oil in a pan. Make sure it's a non-stick pan. Boiling hot to the point where it's almost smoking. Press your burgers in. We're going to have a sear on each side for about three minutes. Getting some colour on there and then we'll bang them in the oven. Flip them over. Perfect. And same amount of time on this side. Wedges are in the oven, so we'll throw these in as well with them for around 
six to eight minutes to make sure they cook through. We're using brioche buns today, so I've just sliced it one in half. We're gonna pop that in the oven just to toast it off a little bit and make sure that the bread doesn't go too soggy once we put everything else on it. Burgers are about halfway done, so we're just gonna pop some Swiss cheese on. Back in the oven. Plate it up now. And start with the onion jam on the bottom. Big spoonful. Beautiful. A little bit of baby jam. Three bits. Lay it up like a little raft. A couple of slices of tomato. Put our Christmas puddings over there. I mean burgers. Pass that on there nicely. I'm a big boy. Some sliced pickles. And for the top, our mustard mayo. Half a cup of mayo, teaspoon of whole grain mustard, and two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. in this bad boy because it's a beast. Look at that. We'll plate it up with a couple of wedges. I don't even think we're going to need them. I well, probably do. That's it. Burger time. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you make it. Let me know what it tastes like. Um, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da!